This episode of Little Mushroom News is sponsored by the upcoming motion picture, Dr. Doolittle to Nothing, starring Murray Tampon. He has a PhD in slacking off. Good evening, Little Mushroom. Dylan Jungle here with a breaking news story. The family of world champion fighter Roy the Jobber Barons was found dead earlier today, police believing that they had been murdered. And we can now report that an arrest has been made. Punches Impossible has been taken into custody and is being charged with the murder of Roy's wife and parents. Little Mushroom police officer Hamster Delight announced the arrest at a press conference moments ago. Okay, guys, if you want any more information, you're going to have to pay up. If you're a fan of my Tumblr account, you know that I'm a big fan of Girl Scout cookies. So here's the fucking deal. One box of Thin Mints. I'll show you pictures of the crime scene. Now who wants to play ball? Attorney Jack Sex has taken Punch's Impossible's case and offered this statement to the press. My client, Punch's Impossible, did not murder the family of Roy Barons. Punch's has, in fact, been hospitalized since his fight with Mr. Barons last week. Any attempt to dispute that fact will be met with a stiff dick to the eye. Our sources tell us that the main evidence that police have against Punch is Impossible is Mrs. Barron's blood was found on Punch is Impossible's right glove, and a tooth belonging to Roy's father was discovered lodged into his left glove. The trial is scheduled to begin next month, and you can guarantee we will have more on this story as it happens. Coming soon, from the inventors of the electronic orgasm maker, the latest breakthrough in spy technology, the Booger Spy Camera. Oh, hey, Bob. I think you have something hanging out of your nose. Thanks, Dave, but I know. While it may look like a booger, it's actually the smallest and slimiest spy camera ever created. Neato. Hey, is this a good time to tell you that I've been having sex with your wife? Record your friends, as well as girls wearing yoga pants in secrecy, with a booger hanging out of your nose. In stores this Christmas. Sports. Hey guys, Nike Under Armour back with you. And yes, you've already heard Roy Barron's family was found dead earlier today and Punches Impossible has been arrested and charged with murder. The International Federation of Fighters have already canceled Roy's upcoming title defense against Walter White Power Simpson and, and Walter is said to be furious. Roy Barron's hasn't been seen nor heard from since the news broke, but I was able to get an exclusive interview with Roy's dog, Burgers. Now, obviously, Burgers doesn't speak English, but my sister is a professional mutt to English translator, and I called her to help me with this interview. Okay, Burgers, when is the last time you saw your master? And remember, there's a big slobbery bone in this for you if you give us some dirt. Uh, I saw him last night. He was with Booze Fearsome. Good boy, good boy. And what were they doing? They were kissing and touching. Kissing and touching. I know that you're a dog, but I can't believe what you're saying. Okay, Burgers, last question. When is the last time you saw your master's wife, and what was the atmosphere like? He says... I haven't seen Roy's wife for weeks. Last time they were together, they were arguing and yelling. Wow. Who's a good boy? (coughs) Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Here's your bone. Sources say that Roy Barons may forfeit the world title and never fight again, but that remains to be seen. Also, the World Series of Pro Arm Wrestling was this past weekend. But it's scripted anyway, so who cares? Until next week, hit balls, not women. A bottomless pit of ranch dressing was discovered Wednesday in the Little Mushroom Forest by a couple of teenagers. They were deep in the woods trying to get high when one of them fell into the tasty ditch and almost drowned. Luckily for them, scientist Albert Einstein, again, again, no relation to the famous one, was out camping, observing the night sky. But he says he is baffled as to how the ranch dressing got there. 
This is the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my career. The ranch dressing seems to have been produced naturally, and the pit appears to be at least 200 feet deep. But the ranch dressing also tastes pretty damn good. Ranch dressing connoisseur Creamy Gable plans to purchase the natural tangy spring from the city pending a vote. If approved, his company Gable & Son would then market and sell the ranch dressing as all-natural and with pulp. Pulp meaning dirt. Hey, it's Dylan here again. We have a very special guest today doing the weather. He's our on-the-scene reporter, Billy Cheesecake. Thanks, but don't you think I should be out covering the Punches and Possible arrest? You don't understand. The weather is the most important part of the show. Yeah, but... Just do it. You want me to read this, this word for word? Yeah, it's called doing the weather. Jesus Christ. Okay. Little mushroom, it's going to be a dry one out there today. It's dry as an old woman's... My mom doesn't let me say this word. What word? The, the V word. Get out. Get out and report on something. You suck at weather. Just because somebody doesn't want to say the V word doesn't mean that they suck at doing the weather. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. How else are you going to report that it's dry outside when you don't compare it to an old lady's dried up cooch? Oh, I'm allowed to say cooch. Son of a bitch. Come to Noob Steiner, we got pancakes so high. Come to Noob Steiner, that they're touching the sky. Come to Noob Steiner, order sausage and eggs. Come to Noob Steiner, our waitresses have legs. Come to Noob Steiner, yeah, cause our food tastes good. Come to Noob Steiner, we serve burgers on wood. Come to Noob Steiner, yeah, you better tip well. Come to Noob Steiner or you'll be feeling like hell! Noob Steiner! Home of the pancake tower that's so high it reaches the Earth's thermosphere. Come in today and order our special rainbow split cake harvested from the best rainbows Ireland can produce. Only $5.99 for a limited time only. Price does not include tax or service fees. Hello, Little Mushroom. Shoulders Carruthers here. And since we have no weatherman, I thought I'd try and give you an update on Hurricane Jesus. The storm originally hit our town last Sunday, then returned three days later with even harder winds and heavier rain. It has now been one week since the storm ended, and Little Mushroom is slowly rebuilding itself. Community organizer Rebel Washington says that the cleanup has been difficult, but morale has remained high. The hurricane did a lot of damage. It hit the Port Apati district incredibly hard. The rivers were turned blue from chemicals. It was a sad sight. Candidate for mayor Tom Dashhammer controversially sent his campaign staff to some of the most affected areas of the city just to knock on doors for votes. Sally Kopp, one of the many who lost her home in the hurricane, says she didn't even have a door to answer. I still can't believe what happened, and I'm not talking about the hurricane. I was sitting on the ground, in the wreckage of what used to be my home, trying to put a family photo album back together. One of Tom Dashhammer's workers comes up to me, doesn't ask how I'm doing, doesn't ask if I'm okay. He kneels down next to me and sticks a campaign flyer into the pages of my family photo album, right on top of the only picture I have left of my dad. Has he no gall? Now, I don't want to sound unsympathetic, but to be fair to Mr. Dashhammer, he did have his gallbladder removed when he was a teenager. For additional updates on Hurricane Jesus, keep checking our website, www.littlemushroomnews.com. Hey, Little Mushroom, it's Traffic Guy, and I'm talking to you live from the Little Mushroom helicopter, currently hovering high above the floppy disk memorial bridge where traffic is backed up as the CEO of Omnicrap, Richard Blood's motorcade, enters the city for the first time. Mothers have brought their children out to witness the arrival of the man who promises to rid Little Mushroom of all of her financial woes. Richard Blood has now exited his limousine and is dancing on top of the vehicle. He also seems to be giving somebody the finger. Oh no, Richard Blood has now dropped his pants and has his butt cheeks spread. Richard Blood is taking his shit on the floppy disk memorial bridge. What an arrival. A baby was born Monday with a USB port in place of its belly button. Scientists are calling this the next stage of evolution. 
Jasmine Slut was born zero pounds, six ounces, a healthy baby girl yet connected to her mother through a USB cable. Her food was being delivered to her body digitally. Her father, Henry Slut, who was not present during Jasmine's birth, blames an STD.mov, otherwise known as a sexually transmitted computer virus, for Jasmine's deformity. Jasmine's mother was a real slut. She was sleeping with an old Intel Pentium 2 processor before I met her. I should have known something was wrong when I stuck my dick inside of her and was greeted by a pop-up ad. She swore to me that she was on the Norton antivirus pill. Yet here we are. Doctors were stunned as to why Jasmine was not crying after being born. Their worries were comforted after connecting Jasmine to an intern's MacBook Pro and updating her software. A further software update will be available after Jasmine turns six months old, which will include her first tooth as well as six new cries. Flood Giggles has taken a week off of the campaign trail after his mother, Nellie Giggles, passed away suddenly at her home after an allergic reaction to a car accident. She was 71. Flood issued the following musical statement as a free download on iTunes. Okay, here we go. My mother's dad. My mother's dad. My mother. She's really, really dead. I really wish she didn't kick the bucket. I really wish she didn't kick the bucket. If you see a faded sign at the side of the road, it says 15 miles to my mother's grave. Tom Dashhammer has taken advantage of this opportunity and has gone out of his way to attack Flood Giggles for being a bad son. What kind of son is Flood Giggles to let his mother die? And you know, Nellie Giggles didn't go to heaven. She went straight to hell. And I will piss on her grave to prove it. Many have said that Mr. Dashhammer's comments went too far and were disrespectful. Mr. Dashhammer has refused to apologize, and he believes that his comments didn't go far enough. And the public seems to agree with him. After pissing on Nellie Giggles' grave, Tom Dashhammer's lead in the polls rose by five percentage points. His next move, he says, is to shit on the grave of Flood's childhood dog Barky. That could give Tom a lead that Flood may not be able to overcome. Scalpel. Scalpel. Malpal. Malpal. Malpractice with Dr. Mal. Good day, little mushroom, and welcome to Mal Practice. I am Dr. Mal. I'd like to talk to you about an epidemic that's sweeping the nation right now. That's right, I'm talking about hardcore acne. Your first question might be, how can you tell if someone is affected by hardcore acne? The first sign of hardcore acne is the oil on a person's skin begins to make a sizzling sound similar to that of a hot bacon grease. Large pimples the size of asteroids begin to pollute the person's face, and it takes a good 12 to 13 hours with a hammer and chisel to drain all of those sons of beaches. If you know someone who is affected by hardcore acne, it's best to keep that individual far away from the school dance, because that will only worsen the condition. And in case you come in contact with someone affected in public, it's best to keep Stridic pad and cross on you at all times. Well, that's all for this week. My painkillers are wearing off. I've been Dr. Mal. The Police Report with Hamster Delight. Welcome to the Police Report. I'm Officer Hamster Delight, giving you an update about crime in Little Mushroom. As you have already heard earlier this morning, I arrested a man named Punches Impossible. But before I got that call, I was over on a peaceful parkway breaking up a fight among some teenagers. A young man with asthma was being beaten and taunted over his medical condition. The kids were yelling that it was his choice and to just stop inhaling because drugs are bad. I had put the young asthmatic in cuffs because drugs are bad, but I had to let him go after getting the punches impossible call. The young man was last seen wearing a red sweatshirt and gasping for air. So for your safety, consider him armed and dangerous. And then this afternoon, I was again on a peaceful parkway when I saw a little boy skin a raccoon alive and then wear its fur like a coat. 
It's really nice to see that children are playing outside again. Video games are also the devil. If you see, hear, smell, or taste crime, give me a call. And also, bring me those Girl Scout cookies. Hi, I'm Greg Dashhammer, and I'm Tom Dashhammer's long-lost twin brother that he's never met before. And I'm here to tell you to vote for Dashhammer for mayor. Now, I don't know my brother Tom, but he's a good man. Tom's people found me under the bridge, snorting phonics. I was hooked. He generously sponsored my stint in rehab. I used to be a professor of foreign language, but now I've forgotten almost every word I used to know. Grammar damages your lungs far worse than tobacco smoke. And if you roll your R's, your risk of mouth cancer increases by a zillion. Fuck grammar, beat cancer, vote Dash Hammer. Hello again, Little Mushroom. This is Dylan Jungle. And guys, I know last week I promised to have Tom Dash Hammer, but we've actually had to bump him because tonight I'm talking to the attorney of Punch is Impossible, what? Jack Sex. No, no, I told you, baby, ja- I'll be home soon. And when I get there, He's I'm going to the do phone. things Hold to on. you with my tongue. They're biologically impossible. Just keep your panties warm. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, I'm heading into the interview now. All right. Uh, girlfriend? Hell no. That's dessert. Girlfriends are like Santa Claus. I don't believe in them. Uh, fair enough, I suppose. But what I'd like to talk about today is your client. Punch is impossible. Can you tell us, where is he? He's being held at the Little Mushroom Penitentiary and Grill. It's uh, Margarita Monday. Uh, can you give us any kind of update? I'm actually going to see him after this interview for a quick chat. We're going to see the judge later this week. He also wanted me to swing by Burger King and grab him some chicken fries. Okay. Uh, well, how is, how is Punch's current relationship with his father? Now, for those listening who don't know, it was his father, Booze Fearsome, who actually caused Punch's the world championship. Look, we could sit here all day and talk about Punch is Impossible or Booze Fearsome or the murder, or I could show you some naked pictures of my ex-girlfriends. What do you say? Well, Jack, I'm going to have to say no. You know, I have a job to do. Responsibility. The only responsibility you have is to get that dick hard. I do do it responsibly. <laughs> Not that it's any of your business, but every afternoon at 4 p.m., I sit on my bed and I inject 20 cc's of cement straight into the base of my dick. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. We're talking about Punches Impossible with Jack Sex. Actually, though, I, I kind of want to talk more about that bonus cement. Well, uh, maybe after the show, okay? Let's, let's try to stay focused. Jack, have you talked at all to Roy Barons? Why, yes. Earlier I offered him a six-month subscription to my condolences. I thought it was the least that I could do. Okay, Jack, right now I'm going to ask you just straight up. Did Punches Impossible murder Roy Barron's family? I mean, did he channel all the anger into his fist? Oh, God. What? Oh, before I came, I told this girl to warm her panties up. She just texted me that she warmed them up in the oven. That's dry heat. That's that's not a good situation. Can you not focus? I mean, aren't you making money off this trial? Right, 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 right. Focus on the work. Did he not channel all the anger into his fist and just... No, no, he didn't, Dylan. Now I want to ask you something straight up, okay? What's your wife's phone number? What? Jack! Oh, no, wait, here it is. I have it already, actually. You do not have my wife's phone number. 513... 513- Two four zero Jack sixty nine sixty nine. Jack, give me that. All right, this interview's over. Get out of here. What, get out of here. What? Are you, I thought you were going to tell me more about the bonus event. Oh yeah, that's right. You want me to wait outside? No, we can do it right now. All right, I want to take some notes. Hold on. Grab a pencil. No, grab a pen. Actually, you're not going to use an eraser. All right, I'm ready. The key to this whole thing is sterilization. You're going to make sure that the needle's sterile. You're going to make sure the cement is fresh and light gray. Light gray at first. Looking for work? The Omnicrap Corporation is hiring full-time positions for people looking to get their foot into the manual labor industry. We have an unlimited supply of backbreaking factory work and warehouse jobs available, including our new factory downtown that makes warehouses. Apply in person. Hey guys, thanks for listening. I need to get home to my wife before Jack Sex does. See you later.